There are a lot of ways to make money trading stock options, and experienced traders know that selling options has a much higher probability of profit than buying them. However, with buying options having a much lower probability of profit, there has to be an upside, right? Yep, unlimited upside profits. It's called pot odds. No, not that type. This type. Pot odds relates to placing bets when there is a larger pot size. There may be the same probability of profit or winning, but if the pot size is larger at certain times, then it's better to place bets at those times. In today's video, we are going to cover exactly how we made $460 profit in one day. What is the setup we look for when buying call options to put the odds in our favor? How do we limit our risk when buying call options? And then we will show you exactly how we placed the trade and bought the call on the option trading platform and the results. Hey guys, Darren here. We've got a great video for you here today. Although before we start, all I ask, if you appreciate the research and effort that goes into making these types of videos, is that you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out tremendously and I really appreciate it, so thank you. Today we're covering buying call options. This is a great strategy to make a huge profit quickly while limiting your risk and putting up very little money up front. I think it's important that we understand all the strategies that the rich are using to get richer. We wanna be able to use those same strategies to profit in any market while limiting our downside risk. Be sure to download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the two main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner and I'm not recommending trades. Please do your own research and if you're new or learning options, I recommend you start small. Guys, a lot of people buy options. There's people all over YouTube preaching this and I always thought they were crazy. Buying options always has a much lower probability of profit than selling them. So you lose more often than you win. I think I'm kind of more of a fan of making money. However, just like with anything, when there's a bad side, there's often a good side as well, especially with options since they're perfectly priced, right? There are buyers and sellers, and sure, over time, the market goes up, 7-10% to 10 per year on average, some years more, some years less. But in the very near term, like the daily options, there's almost a 50-50 shot that the market will move up or down in the short term. So it's almost like a coin flip. Let's see how we can use this information to profit with buying options. What is the setup that we look for when buying a call option to put the odds in our favor? When we buy a call option, we want the price of the underlying stock to move up. When the stock price moves up, the option price moves up as well, and we can then sell it for more than we bought it for, with the difference being the profit that we keep. So, we want to buy a stock that is down and undervalued and expected to move up quickly. For this trade, we're going to take a look at Block, previously known as Square and the ticker symbol is SQ. Block, together with its subsidiaries, creates tools that enable sellers to accept credit card payments and provides reporting and analytics and next day settlement. The tools are widely used in small stores, so you likely have seen them before. We are also going to look at Block right before earnings since we will buy a very short-term call option and are looking for a big move up to follow. Earnings events allow for this type of extreme movement. If we look at the chart going back to 2021, we see where Square was up around the $270 range. Then they had some undisciplined bad acquisitions that didn't work out and the stock dropped quite a bit. So it's really at annual lows. In looking at the income statement, we see that revenue has been increasing steadily year over year. And the balance sheet is clean as well with assets well above liabilities and increasing steadily. The market has also been trending up this week and tech stocks, including fintechs, have been moving up. I'm sure you've heard the trend is your friend. So for all these reasons, we think Block is going to
to do better now and the earnings report will beat the market expectations. So how do we place the trade and buy the call option on the Tasty Trade option trading platform? You can do this on any option trading platform. However, Tasty Trade is one of the best and most intuitive for trading options. These are the guys that developed the TOS, Think or Swim, option trading platform and then sold it to TD Ameritrade. TD and Schwab use this platform still today. Tasty Trade is even better. Use the link below and you can get cash back when you open an account with Tasty Trade. I do recommend opening an account with at least $5,000 or so so that you can place a few different trades. You can open an account with any amount though. If we punch in SQ in the upper left on the trade page, we can pull up the weekly option chains. Click on the November 10 option chain and open it up. The stock price is currently trading at $43.90, so I bought the 43 in the money call. The cost shows $3.25 when I bought it yesterday. The cost was actually $2.70. So it moved up already $50 during the day prior to making the video. Here you can see the 270 cost for the call bought on 11.2. I bought it in the morning and at 6.43 a.m. since I was going to be gone prior to the close for the day and I wanted to put it on prior to the market close since earnings would be reported afterward. You can see that throughout the day, the stock moved up and closed $50 higher at the end of the day. We can see from the chart that at the open, the stock price gapped up and then slowly moved down until 6.43 a.m. It was looked like it was at a near-term bottom with the green candlestick starting. This is when I bought. We want to try to use the technicals and charts in our favor this is called a hammer and can signal a move higher. Well, after the close, earnings came out and Block smashed it. Block showed growth in both its Cash App ecosystem and its Square ecosystem in Q3. Block had a gross profit of $1.9 billion, a quarterly record, and up 21% year over year. The company's leader, the infamous Jack Dorsey, also had this to say. Dorsey's opening statement was about the long term for Block. It gave guidance for the upcoming fourth quarter. Specifically, it expected fourth quarter EBITDA to grow 50%, 57% year over year to $440 million. So it's not always the case with earnings beats, but in this case it was. The stock price moved up. So as you can see here, right after the market opened out here on the West Coast at 6.33 a.m. the next day, we were able to close the trade for $7.30. Since we bought the option for $2.70, it resulted in a profit of $4.60 or $460 since one option contract controls 100 shares of stock. So we made $460 in just one day on a $270 investment. I know what you're saying. Darren, you got lucky. The stock price doesn't always go your way. You're right. However, we did our homework and may have helped our odds a little by picking a good stock. We also tried to limit our risk after we placed the trade. How do we limit our risk when buying call options? We can limit our risk when buying call options by using a stop limit order. As soon as I buy an option, I like to put on a stop limit order. What is a stop limit order? A stop limit order is a conditional order that closes a trade if it hits the stop price, but only if it is above the limit price. Here's how we place a stop limit order on the Tasty Trade platform. We now own the 43 call option, so we click on the bid to sell the 43 call option. The current sell price is $3.15. We click on the stop limit on the right side of the platform and GTC next to it, which stands for good till canceled. We then can type in $2.75 in the stop price section and $2.65 in the limit section. 
We then hit review and send to place the stop limit order. With the current market price at $3.15, we are going to let the stock price run and see how high it can go and keep making money as long as it moves up. Remember, when we buy a call option, it replicates owning the stock outright. So the higher the stock price goes, the more money we make. However, what if the stock price moves down? We paid $270 for the stock option. So if the stock price moves down below our $43 price, then we make $0 and lose the entire $270 that we paid for the option. Now the next day after earnings are reported, the stock price jumped. Now we are up $50 at the $315 since we paid $270, actually $45. And we, we can set our stop loss at the 275. So we can sell to close if the price of the option hits 275. This would still result in a gain of $5. So we wouldn't lose anything at all and make $5 if we sold at this stop price. The limit price is the bottom price that we agree to take once the sell trigger is hit. In other words, as long as we can make somewhere between the 265 and 275, the trade will be executed. So Darren, why do we need to put a range? For a couple of reasons. First, if the market opens the next day and gaps down, it may trigger our stop and initiate a sell. However, it may completely surpass our limit. Say the market opens the next day and the opening stock price is $2.50. In that case, it won't sell. We will still own the call option since it is below our limit price to sell. This can protect us from taking a big loss, only if the stock price moves up from there, of course. At the same time, the stock may move slowly during the day and hit our stop and sell and save us from a further drop while preserving our profits. Lastly, when we have a big winner like we did in this case, if we wanna let the stock run, we can just continually move up our stop loss until it is tripped and we finally sell. As long as the stock price keeps moving up, we keep making money. This is how the big money is made. I like to let the stock run and move up the stop loss as the stock price moves higher. Of course, you can only really do this if you are watching the market throughout the day. I will also sometimes do a bracket order if I know that I'm going to be away from my computer or phone and not able to watch the market closely. A bracket is the combination of a stop loss and a close on the top side once the price reaches our profit target. Let me know if you want to see how this is done in the comments below. So to summarize, we buy call options for big profits when we have an underlying stock that we think is at the bottom of a short term range and will move up quickly. We utilize the technical charts to optimize and try to buy at a low point during the day. We set a stop loss to limit our risk should the stock price move down against us. When the stock price moves in our favor and we are winners, we can move our stop loss up with the increasing price and optimize our profits by letting the stock run to the upside. All right, guys, if you're a beginner and this sounded kind of confusing, don't worry. It did for me as well at first. We will continue to cover option trading tips and tricks in future videos. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Download the free options workshop. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're trading, any questions that you have, um, trades that you're having success with or not. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.